still going. They're friendly. They're very friendly people. You know they're friendly. They're happy to see you. I wanna, I wanna have that like when I walk into my house. I wanna have like a group of people that when I get home, I'm like, honey, I'm home, and it's like, yeah! Well. Or like after we get done having sex, it's just like somebody just stands up and cheers. Yeah. That'd be great, like standing ovations. That doesn't happen? No. 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 Well, I Occasionally can... I get like a good game or something uh -huh, like yeah. that, but that's about it. Good game and a high five? Yeah. That's great. Well, I, the first part of it, we could probably help you out. I, I bet a bunch of people would volunteer to come to your home and do that. Yeah. It's not gonna happen, don't get excited. Um, <laughs> the last time you were here, you were uh, most beautiful uh, in People in, in uh, People Magazine, yep. and then now you're on the list in Time Magazine, most influential, one of the most influential, and you went to a dinner with all the influential people? Yeah. And, and who was all there? We just a bunch of people influencing each, each other. Each other, yeah. <laughs> we're just like influencing the heck out of each uh -huh. other. It was, uh, it was really amazing. Like, who was there that influences you? Um, well, uh, Bill Clinton was there, mm -hmm. um, and that was very cool. Um, I watched, you know what was amazing was actually watching, there was a man from Haiti who started a fish farm and, and put it, and that runs on like solar energy, and he put a bunch of people to work, and, and I watched Bill Clinton watch this man give a toast, and, and, uh, and he started to cry. And, and I thought it was like such a profound thing to watch a guy who at one point in time was the most powerful person in the world that still had an emotional connection to what's going on that's so deep and so resonant that it would bring him to tears. And for, for me, that was pretty powerful. And then uh, Sarah Palin spoke, and <laughs> that was less profound, mm -hmm. a, like a little bit. What, <laughs> I mean, did, she, what did Sarah She was Palin very talk about? sweet, and I met her daughter, who mm -hmm. was very sweet. Well, she was talking about like, so everybody was supposed to get up and give a toast about like who influenced them in their lives. And she was like, it's Americans and all the little people and the military and and then she was like, you know, just all the little people like and Taylor Swift's band was like up there because she was playing. She's like, like those guys in Taylor Swift's band, the little guys. And I was like, those guys are doing really well for themselves. Like they're Taylor Swift's band. Like they gotta be doing pretty good. But it, it was that was interesting. And then Prince played. Uh-huh. Yeah. Prince is, uh, Prince is incredible. Was that like two in the morning? Doesn't he only play at like two in the morning? <laughs> like at his house yeah, with like 50. Right. No, what, it was at a regular time, but he does, I, Prince makes me so mad. Oh. And it's like, I like Prince, but he, he does this thing where like he doesn't want to play like any of his hits, right? Mm -hmm, right. And so he does like these like two hour jazz interludes mm -hmm. where it's like just the band and he like goes off to the side and he like, he's like over here like watching the band like, and I'm like, <laughs> I want to see Prince, you yeah. know, and I want to see, I want you to see Purple Rain. I want you to, like, do the songs that I know right. and like, not, like, a two-hour jazz interlude. Right. Like, John Mayer plays My Body is a Wonderland when you go to his concerts. Uh -huh. I feel like he's singing to me. Right. I just... I think it's Your Body is a Wonderland. Is that what it is? Yeah, it is. But it's all right. Whichever, it still works. Either way. And I bet I he just, hates to play that song. I, I bet he stopped playing write it. write set lists for I know, I understand it's what you're saying. Because they, they get tired of their hits, but that's what we'll, we love them for. Play the good songs. That's right. <laughs> so, Ashton, I'm so mad at Ashton. Last time your wife was here, you know we love scaring people. And last time uh, Demi was here, <coughs> Um, I, uh, I scared her. I'm sure, did she tell you about it? I watched it, I saw uh, it, yeah. If you didn't see it, um, oh, this was so good. All right, here's another monkey right uh, here. Where, where All right. I put my monkeys? All right, this monkey. Oh, there's a big monkey, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if the next person who sits here finds the seat a little wet, <laughs> So I thought, well, we can't scare him when he's out here because he probably watched that show. So I was waiting in the dressing room for him when he got here. And um, he's probably used to girls doing that anyway. So he knew. So this is me trying to scare him just now. That is a good picture of us. Ah! That's a great picture. And then he knew. 
I was scared uh, inside. You were not scared. You had a conversation going.